Three. Here. Three. No. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. And good morning. This is Mike Lodge. I am the business advisor. I'm here every day almost. Skipped yesterday because I just wanted to rest a little bit. But here we are, you and I, on this Sunday morning. And we're going to talk about some things that probably you just don't want to hear about. But we have to talk about it because things happen. Evil is around us. We had some things happen in the news this past week and in people's lives that will affect communities, that will affect churches, that will affect families, and will affect children. We have in the courts some misjustice going on. Not just with Trump, but throughout our courts. We have a legal problem. I was thinking this morning as I was preparing for this conflict, this message on conflict, this message on evil, I was remembering back in the days, way back even at the beginning of this world, when evil was started in the Garden of Eden, Eden, two brothers killed each other. And then as you look throughout the course of history from that very moment in time, that first murder, that first killing, we have had this problem going on and on and on. We have had thieves that beat up an individual alongside the road and people just passed him by. And and luckily one person stopped and took care of him took him to a hotel, cleaned him up, tried to heal him. Evil has been with us for so long. People used to go into villages and literally with their, with their swords kill innocent children, innocent women, innocent men. And we keep seeing it. Even this past week when this gunman who had a mental illness, and that's what we have to call it, a mental illness. And you see what happens with mental illness and where there's so much hate, evil comes into that life and the mental capacities vanish because they want to kill somebody. They plan it. It's in their heart that that's their desire to do damage to other people's lives. So that mental illness killed. That evil killed. Listen, evil can spot weakness in mental abilities and use them against good. Use them to create evil situations and happenings on people's lives. We see evil every single day. We see the police as they go out and they they try to protect us. They try to protect us every single day. They put on their medal of honor, the medal of battle. They put on their uniforms and they go out and they try to protect us. And yes, sometimes there are even bad people who are police officers. There are bad people who are accountants. There are bad people who are politicians, especially. (laughs) There are bad people who are out there every single day trying to do something bad against other people. Trying to use other people. Trying to manipulate other people. We see it every single day. And the only thing that we can do is we have to be strong within ourselves. Because we know we're under attack. We're under attack by evil. You know, 
in the Bible, and some of you probably don't believe in the Bible, but I'm going to tell you it anyway because it's a good lesson. And we can find lessons throughout the book of Buddha, throughout the Catholic books. We can find it in all types of religions where they speak about evil. But I know this book, the Bible, so I'm going to speak from it. So in the Bible of, of Ephesians, chapter 6, verses 10 through 18, it tells about fighting against evil. And it goes like this. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, in having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. So what does it come down to? It comes down to us being ready to fight against evil. We know what's out there. We see it happening every single day. And where do you begin? I was listening to a person who I, I admire and I listen to her almost every day. And she lives in Tennessee there. And she lives in that very community. And she was talking about how the community has come together to take care of the needs of all these people. Yesterday, they began burying a lot of the individuals who had gotten shot. But she was shocked and she showed pictures and she showed how people in that community had come together to support those six families. And then she listed the names of those individuals. But you see, it all came at the very end. It comes down to where a community can build itself up. You can make your community stronger. You get involved within your community and, and make it stronger and better and healthier. And you focus on the things that are needed in that community. But the touch of my heart, as I saw the pictures of the community coming to together, I know that, that <clears throat> as I get older, my heart and my mind become more emotional when I see other people in pain. No one ever thinks that that kind of pain is going to come into their lives, into their homes, into their communities, into the neighbors next door, in the church members that you go to church with, in, in the school that you send your children to school. You never think that's going to happen. There are certain things that you can do by putting, by putting law enforcement or guards and in the school. That's one way of doing it. But we have to look at all of the ways that we can make our community stronger. Taking away the police was a bad idea. Because they had, they had the, the fighting armor on them to protect us. And then politicians, who I consider evil, came in and tried to destroy the, that community. Or our communities, I should say. See, politics is never good. Politics is always evil. They're always fighting with each other. They're always calling each other's names. They're pointing fingers at, it, at each other. They don't want to take responsibility over what they've done. That's evil. 
But we can focus on our communities. Because we know that God loves our communities. Parents love their communities. Families love their communities. The only evil that you have is with the politicians. And that's where we have problems even to this day in our nation, where politicians are no longer thinking of the good of the people, but instead of the power that they can gain, the power that they can hold in their hands over others. So that's evil. So if we recognize evil, and if we recognize what it said in Ephesians, that we are supposed to be prepared, we are supposed to stand firm, then we will do it if we have that strength within us. Now, a lot of us are going to have to go out and find that strength. A lot of us are going to have to get more involved in our communities. A lot of us may have to be volunteers at some of these schools to help them out. Some of us may even have to change our own lives so that we become better, we become stronger. So to the families in Tennessee, my prayers are with you. To the people of this great country who are seeing this mixed up mess of financial mess and and banking mess and legal messes in presidents being trying to be convicted for felony crimes and we see people who are are speaking their mind and being put into jail we have a problem but only us can solve that problem with God's help that's the only way that we can do it So if you would today, I don't know what your belief is and I don't know who you are, but if you would just take five to ten minutes to kneel down and say, God, we need your help. By your grace, it's the only way that we can get through this is through you. Give me that strength. Come into my life so I know how I can help others. So on this Sunday, kneel down, pray, but also give thanks too, because he will answer your prayers. It's one of those life's challenges. From the very beginning, we have had this fight against evil, and it will continue on. No matter, even if you take away all the guns, there will still be evil. But by God's grace, we can get through this. Everybody, kneel down and pray today. Talk with you soon. Love you all. Thank you for your grace. You're amazing. Imagine the world